please help me welcome to the stage Dr. Andreas Betcher. I'm going to be sharing with you three key concepts. How many? Three. How many? Three. Not. One. Not. Three. But. Three. Got it. We're on the same page. Because we got to bring some energy, yes? yes? Everything's energy. Yes. And I'm here to give you as much energy as I can. Raise your standards. Have a process on how you sell. Do you have a systematic way you sell? Or are you just winging your sales conversations? Or is your team winging them? And you're relying on a few of the gift of gab in hopes that they can have their conversions. This is the lifeline of your business. This isn't time to play small. Because I almost went bankrupt, actually, in my first 30 days because I didn't know how to sell. I was relying on my degrees and my titles and my certifications thinking, oh, yeah, somehow they're all going to come in to see me. Just because you put contractor on a magnet and put it on your truck doesn't mean they're going to come ringing the doorbell. To create an experience for my patients, to deliver on value. To deliver on what? Value. value. And let that be the fuel that grows your business. Because that's what no one can compete with you on. You with me? So I'm going to raise the bar on all of you. Is that OK? You may not agree with me all the time, but that's okay. My goal is to challenge you as to what? Challenge. To challenge you to raise the bar on what's possible for you. Is how can you create content to draw clients to you? In my sales training, I don't give you the latest, greatest rebuttal that the client says this and does this. No. My philosophy is you should preempt all known objections well in advance in your framework of your conversation. So that by the time you get to the prescription, your recommendation, it's a done deal. Make sense? Don't offer the recommendation until you've shattered them all. No fancy buzzwords. And when you can start positioning yourself as an expert, then the sale takes care of itself. So when you set that goal, you have to ask yourself, what are my goals asking me to become? Who do I need to become to make them possible? You have to look at your daily habits and your patterns, and are they supporting your success? I knew that if I wanted to compete in the Ironman, I had to make some sacrifices. What sacrifices are you willing to make to get the result? That means I had to say no to happy hour with friends that I couldn't stay out late on Friday night because I knew I was getting up with the, to train on Sunday, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. or 5 in the morning to go for a bike ride, that I had to clean out my pantry of all the junk food because that wasn't going to fuel performance. It would only bog you down. What are the things that are bogging you down? What are the things right now that you should be eliminating in your daily activities and your habits? I can't tell you how many people that were inspired through all of us that were training for these triathlons in this community because we just grew. It started with a few of us, and then all of a sudden there was like 20, 30 of us. We had a whole club over a period of time. And it never ceases to amaze me how many people get stuck in planning. Right? So perfect example is they would sit there and they would, oh, i got to go buy some new running shoes. Oh, i got to go get a bike. Oh, I need to get some swimsuit. I need to get a goggles. Right? I need to go get all my sports drinks. I need to get my supplements together. All right, I need, to, I need to hire a coach. I need to look at my training plan. I got to look at how I'm going to figure out and put it in my schedule. And I would finally turn to them and go, dude, when are you going to start running? Come, you got to be enthusiastic about it. You got to like go. Right? Like I, you got to be like, I am a running freaking freight train and you can come on board with me or not. I'm on the train to health. Well, you can stay over there. Had you told me when I started my Ironman triathlon training, and this is true, I went back and bless you, that if I logged, and I logged enough miles to swim from San Diego to St. Louis to run across the United States twice and circle the globe on a bike one and a half times, I would have said, you're freaking crazy. 
But when I went back and looked at all my training journals and all the miles, that's about what it added up to. Crazy when you think about it. It wasn't pretty. And there were times I had to go do it in the cold and had to do it in the rain and do it when I was the only one who showed up at the gym and there was no one else in the pool. Everyone sees the success and what it looks like on the outside, but many aren't willing to do the work that it takes to get there. That when you are going for your Ironman goals, don't forget what's important and what you're doing them for and share in the success with those that you love and involve them in the process. And most of all, enjoy the journey. It's the journey that brings out the Iron Man in you. It's not the destination. Happiness isn't out there. It's here in this moment when you decide to have it and you decide to want it. Remember what's most important and everything else is just stuff. Remember your customers. Raise the bar on contractors around the world and their perceptions because the competition is so low it makes it easy for you to rise on the top when you do the right thing when you do it ethically and you do it right